Um, welcome to your Go Market Update and Charts of Interest for today, Thursday, the 9th of February. Mike Smith, Senior Analyst at Go Markets here to take you around what's happening in markets today. If we look at what's come across the news, we obviously saw the US markets finish lower to continue what's been a choppy week. And this was on the back of hawkish comments from Fed members Waller and Williams. As they spoke, they were very clear about the prospect of extended uh, rate rises in the US. Earnings, of course, continue this week. Bit mixed yesterday, but Disney did beat in the report they gave after the bell, which pushed the stock in excess of 6% to the upside in after hours trading. As a result of that, US futures are slightly higher in early Asian trading. Asian indices are following that weak US lead and are pretty soft this morning. ASX is about a quarter of a percent lower, but of its lows of the session at this stage. European equity futures are pointing to a slightly positive open and the VIX remains below that critical 20 level. The US dollar index edged higher towards resistance and gold again higher. Interesting that we got both of those rising slightly yesterday. Copper also regained some of its recent losses and all edged higher as well to remain within a medium term range. So not a bad day yesterday overall for commodities, but they were off their highs. Bitcoin remains in a short term range and earnings season, of course, continues today and through next week in the US. And of course, on the ASX, we start to ramp up next week as well. On the data front, we've got German CPI and US weekly jobs, both important numbers and will give the market something more to digest. A couple of charts that caught our eye this morning. Uh, just keep an eye on the Australian dollar yen. You can see on the 30 minute chart over the last hour, we've seen a spike to the upside in terms of where this is in context it could send us back up towards this 200 ma uh, which is around about 40 pips to the upside from where we are now uh, there is more upside potential if we break through this possibly to test 92 and maybe even 9250 should this yen selling continue on the asx austral have caught our eye today you can see a nice bounce today after really what's been a fairly miserable month for Austral, but you can see the last couple of days have pushed it back up to this key 180 level which was important back in june last year and in march so this looks like an important level plenty of upside in this possibly back to two dollars if we get some buy-in pressure coming in trade safe and we'll see you again soon bye bye for now